I try to do my part now as I, I am matured and have the opportunity. I, I do hire um, guys coming out of prison. And these are the Fazari LaSalle Peaks. It's a 170 millimeter enduro bike, so big bike in two different colors. And I oh, look! Oh, it's so cute! <laughs> Oh, so good. If you have been following the channel, you know that for the last two months we have been living in Mexico and having a blast. The trails are awesome and so is the food. However, we are back in the USA and are getting ready for our new adventure with two new bike days. In this video, we go for our first ride on our LaSalle Peaks as well as our Empire Road Bikes. Two bikes that will be coming with us on our next adventure. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel which is now located in the United States of America because we are back in America. Apparently when you leave the country for two months a lot piles up. Been trying to sort through all of it before our next adventure because yes we are that crazy that we already booked our next adventure. We leave in about a week or so. Be sure to be subscribed if you guys can hit that like button it does help out the channel. Let's see what we got going on. <laughs> Do you have your ponytail? going through here. Fashion statement is wearing mountain bike shoes on a completely roadie bike. These are actually the Fizari Empires and man they look really good. Unfortunately I did get a little bit of a nicer build than Hannah's which I feel really bad about. My build's really nice so I got Altegra. She did. She got, she got the Altegra 105 Shimano combo but I did get the Force AXS with carbon wheels on here. So you know, Fazari is trying to pick a fight between me and Hannah and that's why he said, well, they, I don't think that. They actually only had one of each uh, build in the demo sizes. Actually bringing four bikes where we're going. So if you guys can guess, let us know in the comment section. This bag right here was actually the only bag we had for our bike packing adventure. But now we have real bags, which are actually inside there. I don't know what they sent us. I don't know. It's a really cool company. So basically it's called Kai Venture Bags. We're going to put their Instagram handle right here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is looking really good. Ooh. Oh, look. Oh, it's so <laughs> cute. <laughs> I think that they were supposed so to be cute. the uh, color of our gravel bikes, which are in Kentucky. Oh, and I like how they did <laughs> Hannah first and then Mo first. So like this one's my bag, that one's Mo's bag. That's so cute. We are so stoked to have road bikes again because this next adventure is going to need them. And there's no better way to do a shakedown ride than at the beach. We miss California and every time we are back, we have to make the rounds of our favorite restaurants. What's up guys? Um, my name is Tommy. I'm from Monarch 9. Sweet, and then what's Monarch 9? <laughs> oh, okay. I'll start over. Okay, got it, got it. Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm Tommy. Uh, I own Monarch 9. It's a Vietnamese restaurant. They actually got uh, voted best Vietnamese restaurant in Orange County by the LA Times a couple weeks ago, so pretty stoked about that. Yeah, we uh, had a, a guy break into our restaurant. He broke three of our windows and broke in, and so uh, we just got that fixed. Like, this doesn't deter me. Like. I had a pretty rough patch of uh, past myself. I was in a lot of trouble growing up, gang banging and stuff. So I try to do my part now as I, I matured and had the opportunity. I, I do hire um, guys coming out of prison. Um, they're most most of them are like long lifers or guys that's been down for like over 10, 15 years. Um, most of them don't get the opportunity to work. Most employers are not willing to give a guy like that a chance. Um, so um, I do, I've had, a, I've hired a lot of those guys in the kitchen and they pretty much for the most part, um, most of them have worked out really well. All right, you guys, so hopefully you're enjoying today's video. We just want to take a quick second and thank a huge part of our next adventure and today's video sponsor, and that is Competitive Cyclist. Now, for those of you that don't know, Competitive Cyclist is one of the largest online bike shops, and they are awesome. They have so many rad brands to choose from, and their inventory is insane. Whether you're a road cyclist, gravel cyclist, or a mountain biker, they have something to dial you in for all of those miles of smiles. And the craziest thing is, is you name it, they not only probably carry it but also have it in stock ready to ship out to you so you don't miss out on any riding time. They also have gearheads on standby 24 7 to help out with all of your gear related needs. So if you're like me and you have a ton of questions they'll help answer those questions and make sure you get the right product to fit your specific cycling need. Now like I said competitive cyclist is a huge part of our adventures and we have a really big one coming up soon that we can't talk about just yet. The first product we picked up for our next trip are these. These are the specialized recon gravel shoes. These are our favorite gravel 
riding shoes. And we actually use these on road bikes as well because for this next adventure, without giving away too much, we're gonna be doing a lot of walking and road cycling. So we wanted something we could still walk in. These are plenty stiff and plenty light. I actually picked them up in this cool black color. Hannah got them in a color I'm very jealous of. It's like this espresso roasted style color. We've been running these things for the last three years. They're the only road slash gravel shoes we'll run. And like I said, they're very comfortable, lightweight, stiff, but at the same time, you could still walk in them if you are doing some road cycling. We also have a coupon code for you guys. It's awesome MTB 15 and that will get you guys 15% off your first order with competitive cyclists. Certain exclusions do apply. Huge thank you to competitive cyclists. And with all of that being said, let's get back into today's adventure. Ew. We love visiting Monarch 9 and the food here is always amazing. However, it's time for us to get the last few finishing touches on our new mountain bikes. Thomas here with Better Bolts. Here's our new location in Rancho Santa Margarita. We're open for bolt installs and to pick up uh, your online order. So coming in, we'll show you inside. We make titanium hardware for mountain bikes specifically. Uh, we also are launching road and gravel bikes as well. So I can kind of run you through what we make here. We make titanium replacement fasteners and they won't rust, they've got cool colors, and they're significantly lighter than the steel bolts that come out of your bike. Silver, a rainbow oil slick color, a gold PVD color, and then a pretty standard black there, a nice dark black. And then all of our shipping and receiving goes out of here, so we get orders out of Rancho Santa Margarita here uh, within a day of ordering, or you can come in within a day of ordering and pick up your bolts for an install as well so what's going on you guys it has been so awesome being back in orange county but the riding adventure has to continue and we have two brand new bikes that we are so stoked on to break in and these are the fazari lasalle peaks it's a 170 millimeter enduro bike so big bike in two different colors and i feel like they're both really unique i do have to ask you whose do you think looks better i always think mine looks better <laughs> everyone agrees with me too oh, no. mo just went a little crazy on that build i think the orange was the nail in the coffin for what? me i thought i thought it was but the... but the oil slick bolts definitely hold it together a little bit your jersey matches my bike though you want should we just switch today honestly yeah i shouldn't be talking shit about your bike <laughs> <laughs> let us know in the comment section you guys what would you take gray or purple all right first trail ever on this bike links in aliso one of our hometown favorites I always get nervous on new bike day because I truly never know if I tighten everything down correctly. <laughs> and this is also the first time I've ridden this big of a bike in a long time. The Delano is 135 and this is 170. Whew. Oh, it feels like a monster truck. <laughs> I can already tell. <laughs> It literally is just a monster truck. <sighs> nice, Hannah. Oh, nice and slow. Don't want to die here. Ooh. Oh my God, this is the most nerve wracking part. I really hope I tighten my stem down. <laughs> Little gap. Oh, like nothing. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> oh my God. How I'm, was it? It's such a good bike. It's really fun. I'm actually in love with it. Oh, did anything come loose how, for you? No, I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> I how fun long, like super long travel bikes are. They're really good. So good. And it climbs really well. The other trail we love to test new bikes on is a trail called Rocket. You probably have seen us ride this trail like a million times. So good. The rock garden. This is going to definitely be the true test on how this bike rides. So far, it's feeling super smooth. I'm not getting a lot of noise from the bike either. Oy. So good. Smooth. Oh, yeah. Here's the up and over. Nice. Nice. Super smooth. So good. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. How'd you like it? 
I don't have much arm pump. Let's I just know, say that. I know, it's insane. What a 170. But it it's so quiet too. Yeah, it doesn't feel like 170 because it's still got the pop and playful feel. Phew. I love these corners. My favorite. You and over. Mo said, "Don't die." I think it's just super rutted out right now. Oh, it goes so fast on this thing. Oh, so good. That bottom section of this trail is always sketchy. There's always like a ton of ruts and they move depending on the season. And also the braking bumps. And the braking bumps. So I feel like that's the most dangerous part of rocking, <laughs> not the rock garden. Yeah. But this was incredible. It feels so good to be back on a big bike.